Hattie and I am back with part 12 of the pomegranates. So in this part I thought it would be really interesting if Jessica Mortray went to a club gathering with her group which is the Gothic Nightmares. She really really hates Amy though. I only found that out today but I don't know where they fell out but they have. And maybe that's why she'd want to meet them. Maybe Jessica would want to get her revenge on the fakes because she's not getting on too well with them. In fact, it's really irritating her that Jane has found other friends and Jane is a really, really close friend to Jessica. They're very good friends, yeah, but I mean, they're not best friends, but they're very, very good friends, almost best friends. But it would because she's not getting enough attention of Jane and she is a naturally jealous person. And that would make her extremely, extremely jealous. So yeah, I definitely want her to go out. She doesn't need to do anything at the house because she has all her needs pretty much filled. So we're gonna go and start a club gathering and they are going to gather at the Von Holt estate, which is a really, really creepy place. And that is where we went in episode one of the Pomegranates, I think. So we have just arrived at the Von Holt estate and these are the other girls in the club. Now I do have to be careful with what Jessica Mortray does say to some of the other girls because she's had affairs with quite a lot of them and I don't want there to be any confusion and I definitely don't want this whole scenario to be sidetracked and the cheating would be more of an issue because the real issue at hand at the moment is the fact that the fakes are causing disruptions for the girls and Jessica Mortray wants to take them down. So I wonder how she can do that. I wonder if she could praise the group because she hasn't really seen them in a very long time and I think that's what she'd do. She'd start by praising the group and maybe welcome member to the Gothic Nightmares. That's a quite a nice way to start. Yeah, why not? There are other people turning up as well. This is Caroline Kingsley Tasman's mum. Probably here to eavesdrop. She came here last time, if I can remember. She's a little bit odd. But yeah, so she'd probably give her a rude introduction. I think that would be a real concern for them. Especially knowing that the whole situation at hand is this woman's daughter anyway. Why is she here? I have no idea. But yeah, so I think a good start would definitely to be to ask Blondie to do something. Convince the step down as the Gothic Nightmares leader. That would be a potential. And the reason why that might actually be something that would be a concern for Jessica is because she might feel this seriously about the whole issue and she might want the leader to step down because she'd want to take down the fakes. It's very, very awkward though that Caroline Kingsley is here. It's very, very strange, but the only, I mean, the only reason I can think of is because she's trying to eavesdrop. I mean, just look at that face. She's definitely trying to eavesdrop and cause some trouble. But yeah, so I want Jessica to probably go over here together. Yeah, it would make sense that they keep trying to move away from her. Who else is here? Okay, there are lots of parents here. This is Stephen Kingsley, Tasman Kingsley's father. This is Roderick Davoli and Gina Davoli. Actually, no, it's Gina Dozier, that is his wife, but she just didn't take his last name. So they've gone over here a little bit now, which is a little bit strange. But yeah, so maybe she would talk to Blondie. She hasn't spoken to Blondie in quite some time and it might be a little bit awkward for her, but she might be able to use that to her advantage. And I wonder why Blondie's coming to stand over here now. I'm gonna try to get all the Gothic Nightmares to come over here. It would make a lot of sense if they were to come over here. And there's only three of them. Is there only three of them? No, there's more than that. I think we're missing one. Are we missing? Yeah, we're missing Kirsten. Don't know where she is. But anyway, so I want Jessica to not get sidetracked. And I actually want her to talk to Blondie. And I think that the best thing for her to do would be to uh, not convinced to step down just yet she needs to be friendlier with her so ask about her day she can be very manipulative if she wants to be and I think she's going to be about this whole thing so I think she probably has to become at least friends with her to get her to step down because otherwise she is not going to step down and I want Jessica Mortray to take over because that would mean so much sabotage so <laughs> I'm hoping that can happen maybe gossip and she's just, she's got to be manipulative. She's got to be. She's got to pretend to be Blondie's friend, even though I don't think that she would really want to. And I think the main issue at hand here 
is the fact that her real friend Jane has been taken away from her and she's sad about it. So yeah, I want her to try and become friends or at least closer friends with Blondie. That is what she would probably spend the hours doing. Would it even help if she had to go romance with her? I think it would actually. I think if she did romance with her, um, ask if she was single and did some romantic interactions with her, that would be extremely, extremely manipulative. And we already do know that Jessica Moltray is bi. A lot of people have asked that. And that is something that I had no idea of in the first place. In fact, that was never going to be the situation for her. I had it planned that a completely different character would have something similar to that incorporated into the storyline. But it just happened and it was such a good coincidence that she just had an affair with every single person in this club. I had no idea and that is no word of a lie, I really didn't. But I love it, I think it's such an interesting storyline for her and it does make a lot of sense, especially as she just is extraordinarily manipulative. They are getting some more club points as well. This could definitely help, I don't know what this could help with but maybe, oh my gosh, can you imagine eight sims in the group? I'm gonna have to start recruiting more gothic nightmares if Jessica Mortray is in charge and it'll be so, so big if she is. I really hope that can happen. But yeah, I wanted to tell some funny stories to her and probably flirt, yeah. It's actually going quite well that they are nearly friends, I think. Maybe a few more interactions and I'm hoping that they will be. I don't want to ask her out on a date or anything. Maybe just compliment her appearance a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and maybe kiss. She is so incredibly manipulative. I dread to think what will happen if Jessica Mortray does actually become the leader. So she's going to express her admiration and probably carry on with that. It is a little bit awkward, especially as her other girlfriends are here, and I know that she does have romantic interest for them. But luckily, as the other girl walked past Blanca. She was just being friendly with Blondie. Okay, share secret. <laughs> do you wanna know a secret? I hate the fakes, that's what she'd probably say. Okay, let's do clubs. Uh, convince leader to step down or discuss leadership's feelings. Discuss feelings about the gothic nightmares. Yeah, why not? And I wonder what her feelings would be at this point. I think she'd probably lie. I think that's probably what she would do and convinced to step down as Gothic Nightmares leader. Oh my gosh. I really, really hope that this will happen. I hope that it will. I don't know how she's going to take it. I'm pretty sure that the members would say I'm doing a good job. Oh no. Um, you're right, Jessica Mortray. Maybe you should lead the Gothic Nightmares. Oh my goodness. Has actually worked. Jessica Mortray is the club leader of the Gothic Nightmares. Now this LP has taken a little bit of a turn. It was actually supposed to happen that Scarlet was supposed to do something with her clubs this time, but I think I will still do that. I think that that will be something that I definitely want to happen. But I think now that Jessica Mortray has got what she wants, she's probably gonna pack up and leave. As nasty as that is, she wouldn't really care about what's going on here and she really does want to use the group as an army. That's what she wants to do. And we're gonna go and sabotage the fakes club hangout a little bit, I'm hoping. But she's gonna travel back home. She's not gonna take any of the girls with her. And she's just gonna go back to her house and pretend like nothing's happened. It's 6 a.m. on Saturday. And I don't think that anybody would have noticed that she was out there anyway, which is interesting. But yeah, so she's gonna go back and we are going to go back to the house. So we are currently back at the house now. I don't know why it's still called Factory One. That's really, really odd. But yeah, she's probably gonna go back to bed like nothing happened. Okay, everybody's up, but everyone's dressed, so it wouldn't really matter. I don't think anyone would notice that she was out anyway. All right, let's see what we can play around with here. We have a lot of club points. Buy club perks, what can we buy? So I'm just scrolling down the club perks and there is a club perk for an upgrade of eight people, which is really, really cool. But we have five or six. We have six at the moment, I can't count. But yeah, so we do have six and I just haven't filled up the club yet. I think that I will do that. Between this part and next part, I'll probably do a creator sim of that at some point. And if you do have any ideas, I would love to know what sort of club members you would like next in the Gothic Nightmares. I think I will create a male sim a male goth sim because we just don't have one of those yet and I need diversity. So yeah, apart from that, I don't think there's anything that we can afford yet. There are some of these things, homework boosts, that's just not helpful whatsoever. In fact, no, it's very helpful, but I'm just not gonna have it. Energized club vibe, flirty club vibe, confident club vibe, 
angry club vibe. There are lots of different things. Sad club vibe. I like that one, especially for gothic. I think that's a pretty good one to go for. Trucker hats and friendship bracelets. That's really cute though. I think the fakes would have that, but maybe this club wouldn't. It was still nice to see what there is. I mean, we didn't actually change anything, but still, it's quite nice to see sometimes. But yeah, so I think that what she might now do is just sit and chill out. She's done her part. She has become the leader. And maybe a little bit later on when everything's cooled down a bit and she's got some of her energy back, after she's relaxed, then she can go and sabotage the fakes club. So I think for Scarlett, I think Scarlett does want to take over this club and potentially invite around Elsa. Or no, maybe she'd invite somewhere else. No, it's actually just easier to have around the house. I mean, it just is. It's just easier to have everybody here. I know that it's not the best house at the moment and I have been making plans to change it. In fact, I've started building the new house and I have thought of a really, really interesting plot for it, or at least I think it's interesting. It's something that I don't think anybody's thought of yet and it's, I don't know, it's just a really strange plot that's gonna link this whole story together. But yeah, so Elsa's round and I would really like Scarlett to be friendly with her. I think that that is something that is in her nature to be friendly and also because she is friends with Max the Villarelle, it's really odd that Max isn't the leader in this club as well. He's the club leader of the Renegades but just not this club. Yeah, so maybe, maybe she would just be friendly, brighten her day also think that it would be really interesting if they were to become friends and I'd like that a lot and I think that being funny with Sims I think that that builds your friendship a little bit quicker than being friendly I think I think that if they keep talking about toys and playing make-believe I think that that will help their friendship and I would really really like it if she did step down because that would give Scarlett more control as well and it could also mean that she could add more people into her team here unless we can recruit people from the town oh my gosh this list i think i completely forgot about this yeah there's a whole list maybe alexandra goth and let's see maybe the two twins in fact no there's there's loads and loads of people <laughs> yeah maybe talia and aria they're really cute I think that Isla Rue made those. Isla Rue is a really, really talented Sims creator. So if you haven't seen her Sims creations, then please go and check them out. I'm gonna actually leave the links for her gallery profile below because she makes pretty much all my Sims in my game. So I need to give her a shout out just for that because she's amazing. But yeah, so I definitely, definitely want these girls to go into the house and probably go and watch some television together. I love the fact that this television is just so incredibly humongous. It really is. But yeah, so I think bonding like this would just be really important. Oh, maybe Scarlett would have someone to play with her dolls with her. That's so cute. Yes, that is absolutely what I would want these girls to do. In fact, I did this when I went around someone's house I think, I think when I was about six or seven years old, oh my gosh, she can't get round, why? Why can't she get round? Okay, I'll move this slightly back. But yeah, so I did. I went round to my friend's house when I was very, very young and we played dolls for ages. In fact, it felt like hours, but it probably wasn't even that long. I really do want her to get her downstairs. Why can't she call her over? Well, it's her own fault for being too far away. That's ridiculous. Oh, because Jessica wants to talk to her. Well, I actually want Jessica to lead her downstairs. In fact, maybe just apologise. I don't know why these two have suddenly fallen out because I don't think that Elsa said much wrong. I am not sure. Maybe Jessica just finds her really annoying. I have no idea, but they seem to be getting on a lot better now. Maybe she would lead her downstairs. That would be a really, really nice thing to do. So she could not add to group. That would be really odd to have Elsa in the gothic nightmares. I mean, it wouldn't even be that odd, but I don't know. It would feel strange. And Dylan is warming to the idea of them being a couple, but he just doesn't want the title yet. So I will keep saying that in every single part because I think that that is going to progress at some point. And I, in fact, know how it's going to progress, but I just haven't shared that plot yet. But anyway, so Scarlett, or at least the phone's ringing. Do you want to hang out tonight? Yes. Where did it go? I just had a sign pop up saying Max wants to hang out and it just disappeared. Oh my goodness. I have no idea why I did that. That's really irritating and this also needs to be repaired. This is exactly the problem which I've been speaking about recently. Everything breaks in this house. I have no idea why it happens, but everything seems to break and it's really, really irritating. But yeah, so I think the best thing to do is get Jessica Mortray out to the house. She's gonna travel and her master plan is going to start now. So in fact, she's gonna have a club gathering. 
So they're going to start gathering and, okay, there's only two options, which is really odd. But no, she's going to have a club gathering outside the club. And she's going to travel. She's going to go with Blanca Sprague, Kirsten Oswald, Blondie Slack. I think that's everybody. Yeah, she's not going to invite anybody else there. And they're going to travel to the Fakes Hangout, which is the Normal Arms. And I think that will be very interesting. I don't know if we can sabotage objects, but it would be really amazing if we could. I've definitely seen other Sims sabotage things, but I don't know if that's something that just happens, I don't know, when you're not playing with that Sim. I have no idea. Hey, I heard that you became friends with Blondie Slack. How are you friends with Blondie Slack? And who became friends with her? Oh, Jessica. Of course. She's pretty cool. You're pretty cool, Joel. I think the best thing to do here is try to sabotage some objects. The things that could potentially be sabotaged are, of course, the showers, the sinks, and I don't think that we can do it, which is really, really sad, and I wish that we could. There are, of course, a lot of elderly arriving. It's really strange, though, because it's always the parents that are here. It's never actually the people that are in the club. So this is Tommy's father, Roderick Devoli, and that's Tasman's father, Stephen Kingsley. So it's really odd. But now that they have entered this club and this would be where they weren't supposed to be, and Tasman Kingsley would be distraught if she realized that they were here and she would be very, very angry about it. So I think that Jessica would go and invite her to hang out at Club Lot. Oh my gosh, it's Toby. She has to say hi to Toby. I know I get distracted really easily. She's going to complain about everything to Toby if we can catch him. And I've just found out the reason as to why Toby Anderson hasn't been going to school. That is because Toby Anderson is a young adult for some reason. So she can't even flirt with him, which is Jessica's main aim in life for everything, really. But Tasman's just arrived at the club. And I don't know how she's going to react in this situation. Well, the fathers have just left, probably because they can sense the drama coming. And Jessica Mottre is going to go and confront her. And she's probably going to say, I think it's really mean that you are deliberately trying to become friends with Jane and steal my friend away from me. So therefore, I've arrived at your club and I'm going to sabotage stuff. She's going to threaten to sabotage stuff, but she's not actually going to do anything because apparently we can't do anything. But yeah, so I definitely want her to be insulting. It's going to be a little bit awkward, especially as the father's here. I really, really wish that there was a way that we could just get Sims to go. And I don't know, I just wish that would just be so much easier. But yeah, the Fakes Club gathering has started. Oh no. Oh no, because, oh no, that means Jane's arrived. Well, this is awkward. This is really, really awkward. She's just arrived at the club. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry on like nothing's happened and I still want Jessica and Tasman to fight. Jane would definitely be really worried with the fact as to why Jessica was here. She would never want Jessica to be embarrassing her. And I don't know, does this mean they're getting on? I have no idea, it's really, really odd. But yeah, so I wanted to yell at her. I want her to brush her off or yeah, brush her off or trash talk herself. Can that happen? I wonder if that can happen. Trash talk another sim. Oh no, you can't actually do that. And she probably liked that anyway, so there's no point. Um, okay, she's angry. That's that's pretty good actually, because that's what Jessica wanted all along. Mock her outfit. She'd probably mock how silly she looks. And she wouldn't leave. She really wouldn't leave. Jessica isn't a naturally mean person, but she is a naturally jealous person. So that would be the reason why she would do those horrible things. And I think the only club member that she is going to get on with is going to be Jane. I hope it's going to be all right for them. I don't want her to beg her forgiveness or anything. In fact, I want her to give one more insult to her. And then I think she is going to leave. She's not going to sleep. That would be really odd for her to sleep here, especially as it's very unusual to be able to sleep in a zone that you just don't feel comfortable in. So yeah, I think one more, maybe just insult her again, and then she's going to leave. And that is Jessica Moore's insulting done for the day, I think. And that really does take a lot of stuff off her chest. But I don't think that she's fully there yet. I think that she is feeling very, very revengeful. But she's going to go back home now. And she's probably going to leave the other girls there to carry on sabotaging things if they want to. Or they can leave if they want to do that as well. It's completely up to them what they choose to do. But Jessica Mottre is going to go back home. I think she's had enough for the day. So we're back at the house now and Jane seems to be home. 
which is a little bit strange because I would definitely have expected her to still be at the clubhouse. But I think if she did see anything, she would really, really be mortified that that happened and she would want to probably tell Jessica not to do it again. I don't even know if she did see something, but even if she didn't see anything and she just went home straight after Jessica left, I have no idea. But I would still want her to probably say something and yell at, would she yell at her? Yeah, I wanted to yell at Jessica because I think that Tasman would probably tell Jane anyway. She is downstairs talking to Scarlett as well and it's really, really nice that she is making an effort with Scarlett and I do want them to have a closer friendship. I think that she would want to and I think that she does realize that Scarlett is a very, very shy child and I think that Jessica is somebody that can relate to Scarlett a lot being shy and that's why she would make an effort with her. So she is trying to be very, very friendly there. But nonetheless, Jane is downstairs and she's gonna come and stir things up a little bit and probably yell at Jessica. I don't know how Scarlett would take that. I don't know if Scarlett would be mad at Jane for saying that, I don't know. And they are friends. That's pretty good actually. Are they friends? They're acquaintances, oh no. Okay, so that didn't go very well. And Jessica's probably feeling, well, still happy actually. A little bit angry though, a little bit uncomfortable. I'd probably get her to yell back though. And yeah, maybe yell back at her. Uh, not that they want to fall out or anything. I think that because they've both yelled at each other, Jane yelled at Jessica because she didn't like Jessica going to the club hangout. And Jessica yelled at Jane. Yeah, so it's all done now. Sense pieces haven't arrived. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with this question anymore. Just go without those sense pieces. This is absolutely crazy because it happens every single time that every single situation that I do, it's always, always wrong. I would imagine that after everything that has just happened, that Jessica Mortray would potentially be feeling like getting back at Jane. And even though they're friends, this is just how she tackles her anger. And everybody tackles anger in different ways. Some people are very confrontational. Some people like to back sass. Tommy has just invited Jessica to a secret meeting, which she's going to go to. But it is mainly going to be to get back at Jane and it's a shame. And Pilar just got promoted to sous chef. She has been promoted. She has earned 131 simoleons per hour. That is incredible. Wow. And she's got loads and loads of other items. She's been given an ice box, a cookbook, um, and a promotion. Wow, that's fantastic. Oh, I'm so proud of her. That's so good. But yeah, so Jessica Mortray is just naturally flirty and that's very, very sad. She wouldn't do anything out of the ordinary. Maybe it would just be hanging out with a friend at the Rainforest Cafe. A little bit of an odd venue, I have to say. I love how Johnny Depp's turned up though. And he is a character that I got from a creator called Magic Blue Dragon. I'll leave her links down below as well because she made Dylan. So if you're wondering how to get Dylan on your games because I didn't put him on my Sims 4 gallery, you can go and get all these characters off of hers. So where are they? Okay, so everyone's heading into the club. I wonder what's in this club. It's a little bit unusual actually. And I think that most importantly, it would be nice if she was to uh, befriend him. And I think as well, I think that she would probably drop in a flirtatious line. She wouldn't do anything out of the ordinary. So she's not going to go and ask him too many questions or be too romantic with him because that is just not what's gonna happen. Especially with the sheer amount of people that are surrounding her as well. She would just be very careful with what she says. I do want her to potentially compliment his appearance though. And just drop in some flirty hints. So not a lot. I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her to exchange numbers with him and potentially do one more flirtatious interaction, like I think probably compliment his appearance. And then what I'm gonna do is because she is incredibly, incredibly tired, I'm gonna leave this part here and I will see you all in part 13. So I really hope that you enjoyed this part and I will see you all in the next part. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all soon.